This video is about my popular paper entitled A Fine-Grained Computational Interpretation of Girard's Intuitionistic Proofnets. So what is this paper about? It relates two different formalisms. On one side a term calculus, which is sequential reconstruction, and on the other side a graphical formalism, which is parallel by construction. The term calculus is capturing a functional language, which is called PN, like proof nets, and the graphical formalism is precisely given by Girard's linear logic proof nets in an intuitionistic framework. How the terms look in the term language? They are lambda terms with explicit substitutions, which are particular constructors of the language used to represent delayed substitutions, used to manage the resources of the term language in an explicit way, like in linear logic. The proof, the proof nets are graphs. I will not enter into details here, but you can see that they have boxes here drawn in red, which represent encapsulated pieces of code used also to manage the resources of a graphical language in an explicit way. The idea is that in the term language only explicit substitutions can be erased or duplicated, and in the graphical formalism only boxes can be erased or duplicated. So there is a clear and intuitive link between explicit substitutions on one side and boxes on the other side. An original contribution of this paper is the evaluation mechanism of the term language, which is implemented by means of a notion of reduction at a distance. That is, evaluation which is allowed to cross linear contexts, which are contexts having the holes in non-argument positions. This is precisely done to capture the evaluation mechanism in linear logic proof nets which is given by a local notion of reduction manipulating the boxes. Indeed, the challenge of this paper was to connect in a fine-grained way an evaluation mechanism on a sequential term language with the well-known evaluation mechanism on the graphical formalism of proof nets. This is, in particular, uh, this is particularly interesting because the two models are in mm -hmm. principle very different. The sequential model is more convenient to implement languages, abstract machines, etc., while the graphical model is more adapted to reason about semantics, and in particular, quantitative semantics of programs. So it is important to understand the relation between these two models. Concerning this relation, we can make a difference between the static and the dynamic relation between the two. The static relation connects objects of the term language, the terms, with objects of the graphical language, the proof nets. The dynamic relation connects reduction steps on terms with reduction steps on proof nets. It's the most subtle part of the relation. Indeed, we show that terms and proof nets are in perfect correspondence by choosing appropriate quotients for them. So there is a quotient on the level of terms and another quotient on the level of proof nets. On the dynamic side, it is common to have one to many or many to one translations between reduction steps on a term language and reduction steps on a graphical formalism. Indeed, it is very difficult to obtain the same granularity of reduction on both sides. In this paper, we wanted to define the evaluation mechanism on the term language so that the relation between the reduction steps on the terms and the ones on the proof nets are in one-to-one -one correspondence, in the sense that one single step on a term translates to a single step on a proof net, and the translation is injective so that different steps on terms translate to different steps on proof nets. Most of the paper is devoted to show the good properties of the language, such as confluence, preservation of normalization, strong normalization, full composition, and dissimulation. If you are interested in this work, please come to my talk on Friday 21 January. And if you cannot come, just have a look at my webpage or send me an email. Thanks a lot for your attention.